Hi, Willis Combs here. Have you experienced the excitement and anticipation of getting together with a girl for the first time? But wait, she breaks those plans and you don't see her? What does this mean? When girls break plans with you, there's usually a secret agenda at play and they're actually testing you. They're trying to determine how interested you are in them. Why do girls do these tests? Because it works. 97% of men follow these tests and respond predictably. Let me show you how you can be of that elite 3% that's able to continue to have her attracted to you. To illustrate this point, I want to share a recent example from my own dating life. So this past Friday, I got an unexpected text from my hairstylist saying she was going out that night with some of her girlfriends asking me if I wanted to come out and get together with them. She's really pretty. She recently broke up with her boyfriend. She's really cool. And I said, sure. The last text she sent me said, sounds great. I'll text you when we're leaving. This was at 6.30 PM. So I waited and I didn't expect to hear from her until, you know, eight ish. So eight o'clock rolled around, nine o'clock rolled around, 10 o'clock rolled around, still no text, still nothing. 11 o'clock rolled around. This is where 97% of men blow the attraction and any future attraction she may feel. They will send her a text message or call her and say, hey, what's going on? Are we hanging out? But instead, don't do anything, nothing. Don't contact her. It's natural to send her a text message or to call. After all, you had plans to get together just that text message says I'm desperate. Instead, don't contact her. Don't do anything. I didn't do anything this past Friday night, and sure enough, 9 a.m. Saturday morning, I already had a text from her. She claimed she didn't hit the send button. Who knows? The reality is maybe she didn't hit the send button. Maybe she did. Who knows? What it all comes down to Though is a lot of girls are testing to see your level of interest in them. And if you contact them and communicate when they have said they will contact you or text message you or call you, then you're really telling them that, hey, I'm desperate. But instead, by not calling, not contacting, you are so much different. You're confident, you're interesting, you're sexy, you're secure. Next time you make plans with a girl and she later breaks them, don't call her, let her text you or call you and she'll wanna reschedule with you because you will appear a lot more comfortable, confident, secure, and you won't be desperate like the other 97% of men in the world.